How can you break the cycle of anxiety? Remember this, that anxiety is no such thing as, boom, all of a sudden I'm anxious. It feels that way. <laughs> boom, all of a sudden I'm anxious. It feels that way, but it's actually not true. Anxiety, if you can pay attention to the signs, actually has many indicators before you start to experience large amounts of anxiety. So what we strive to do is to create a cognitive response to all of my little mini triggers that I know are going to induce some connection that I might have to anxiety. Once we start to know that anxiety is happening for me over and over and over and over and over again, it starts to feel like, well, that's my personality. It starts to feel like, but that's just who I am. I just, I'm anxious all the time and I'm very easily anxious. I'm very easily triggered by that. But again, all of that now, that, that big amalgam feeling is a connection of a little smaller things that we just didn't pay attention to in the past. And now it feels like this is who I am and congratulations, that is who you are. And anxiety is very hard on the body. So what we strive to do is to go backwards. And it's never too late. It's never too late to go backwards to pay attention to the energetic signs on frequency level, on energy level, or just the emotional triggers that lead up to those emotions of anxiety.